Welcome to this weekend's project. This weekend, we're not up front, we're in the backyard. Taking advantage of the nice 70 degree weather, it's super nice out here in Florida. And I'm gonna be doing something RC car related. I got this early December last year. Got this early December last year. But these two, well, they just got here. I'm extremely excited to do some RC assembly. So join me this weekend as we kick it off with something a little different, something I've been wanting to do, something you guys are gonna really enjoy. Stick around. So I've laid out all the tools that I think I'm going to need. Hopefully I don't need anything else. So what I have here is a 110 scale body of my Lincoln MKZ. Quality on these is not too good. But it's the only option we've got. And it does look nice. I searched high and low on the interwebs for the wheels that look as close as possible to what I have on my car. The idea is to make a clone of my car. So without further ado, you know me in high speed. I don't like to bore you. So let's go ahead and kick it with the high speed and I'm going to start making the cuts that I need to start doing uh, to get some accessories out of this body, etc. So let's kick it with the high speed. I've gone ahead and cut everything I needed to cut. Uh, the one thing I saw even before I purchased it, I saw it online, is that I don't know why they separate the rear bumper from the body. I'm trying to figure out why they did that and how on earth am I going to adhere it, but I guess I'll cross that bridge when we get there. Body pretty much ready. Now it's time. Did I buy Legos? Is this a Lego set? I should know better. Anyway, now it's time to assemble the chassis. Now what I haven't told you is that while yes, this is an RC car, I am not going to be using this as an RC car. I'm actually going to build the model and just put it at my desk in the office, at my work, at my job. I have no plans on putting a motor and everything that it needs to, in order to be an RC car. This is just gonna be for looks. I still have 
plenty of other RC cars that I can enjoy. Um, and I really would not want to mess up that body, being that they are very rare. So I went and got my phone, my second phone, because I'm recording on my primary phone. And the reason I went to get my phone is because the seller for this kit does not provide instructions in the box that it comes with. The instructions are on his ad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually make sure to include a link in the description down below so you know where to buy it if you are interested in buying this kit. This is a 3D printed kit. But I'm going to be very honest with you. I've seen a lot of 3D printed things in my day. And this is very well done. This isn't a, a low quality quality 3D printer. This is a good 3D printer. So it's telling me I need to spread things out evenly. So we're going to do that. Because I totally agree. This way we know all the parts that we have. something screws the magnet on the screwdriver just because it's a little easier to manipulate what I do want to see is what the length of this car is going to be so hopefully I don't have to do this more than once
I know. But listen, sun's coming down. I need the daylight. Oh yeah, much faster. Much faster. How on earth am I gonna... gander at the pictures again so that's wrong already see by the pure measurement I'll post a drawing right over my audio right now so you guys can see how I determined that it's the short one that's needed here and not this long one that I placed sadly we are left to guess this because I think this is meant more for the enthusiast that is already well versed in these. And while I have been into RC cars for the last five, six years, building my own chassis has been something I've never done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting magnets on these and magnets on the bottom of the body because it will make it that much easier to keep the body on the chassis. We're going to pause it here and we're going to continue in the morning. 
So, the power of video editing magic. Bam! It's not the morning after. It's actually 17 weeks, 3 days, 4 hours, and a few minutes here and there. Uh, no, it's the following weekend. Uh, I just have not had time. It's actually about 8 days later. So I moved from there to here just because I want the sun hitting me directly. Because it is like negative 10 degrees here in Florida. Uh, no, it's not 10. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It sounds pretty simple, but it's cold. It really is cold here. It's unusually cold. It's like, you know. Um, last night it was like 33 degrees down here, which is, I don't know. It's like if it was all, like negative 67 where you live, you know. Uh, you'd be pretty bummed out about the temperature. Um. It's cold is what I'm trying to say. So I'm in the sun and I'm enjoying the temperature because it's actually perfect. Right now it's probably 49, 50, 50, nah, it's probably 52, 53. Um, in any case, let's continue on. Let's see how far we can make it today. I'm not making any promises that I'm going to finish the whole thing, especially since I know glue is involved and I'm not going to do just any random glue. I got clear, crazy glue on the way, but it's not here today. It's on the way. It's, you know, Amazon, you know, point A to point B, but it hasn't reached point B. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's see how far we can make it. So without further ado, let's kick it into high gear, continue on with this mess. <coughs> All right, let's see how we can function with the glare just beaming on my phone. Done with that. We're done with that. We're done with that. And this is where we are. Interesting, I've got the brightness level all the way to high, and it looks like I can barely see anything. That's not going to work. My desired hub. My desired hub. Install the M4 by 25 screws into my desired hub carriers. My desired hub. I've only got a couple options. I don't think it's my desired hub. These will serve as your axle shaft for the wheel nut. Now, I said it a week ago. AKA to you guys a few minutes ago. The instructions on this. They suck more than Monica Lewinsky. That's what I'm trying to say. Kind of, you have to use pictures, is what I'm trying to tell you. There's no. I know they're free. You move, move out of the way. It's that guy behind That's you. You. I know you're looking over his face. Let's look at this guy who's having such a hard time. But I haven't built.
So it is impossible to tighten these towers once the axles are in place. So I may have to glue glue that in place so that it won't move anymore. Regardless of then I'm only going to use this for that body. All right, so time to have a little bit of fun. This is the decal kit that comes with the body. So you can adhere where the windows are gonna go so that you adhere them on the inside. You spray the gun on the inside, obviously. You wait till it dries and you peel these decals. When you peel the decal, you have the windows again, okay? Then you can either A, cover the window with these decals, or leave it transparent to see through. I will most likely cover the window. Now you may have to peel off the decal a couple of times in order for it to get it as approximate as possible. This is not easy. The angle at which these are in is not easy. There's a flaw in the system. I know you can't see the picture, but I'm putting it up on the video, as you can see here. Where it shows chrome on the grill, it shows chrome empty. But nowhere else. Once I paint it, it's gonna be black, all black. So I'm painting it black just like my car. I'm just gonna have to, you know, this one. Once the paint is dry, I'll take it from there. All right, so ironically, when I painted my Ford Raptor, I told myself I would not paint any dark colored RC body just because the curve, uh, you know, it doesn't stand out. And I ended up painting that Raptor in point blue, which almost looks black. And it doesn't do that body just Now, the problem is, this is the identical color that my car is in real life. So 
I want it to match my car. That's the only reason I'm creating it that. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to turn it around just so I could get at it in a different angle. Because the last thing you want is see through paint. You only get one chance at this because once you remove the decals, that's it. Now keep in mind, there's a protective film here. Okay, so when we remove that transparent film, you can see the glossy surface. Okay. All right, so I picked up the mess, and now I'm just gonna let the sun just let it take paint. I might come back with it with the heat gun to uh, help the top accelerate. But I'm tempted to leave it overnight. Alright, so I made the executive decision to leave it overnight. Now, because I work 9 to 5, you won't see the result of this until, well, I won't see the result of this until next weekend. You're going to see it in the next few minutes. But what I am going to do is before the paint dries, I'm going to remove these decals. I can grab it. Yep. Well, the whole body has to protect it. To protect it against scratches, pain.
Go to the garage. You know the chassis that I have here with the four tires? I put it in the garage. It's it's over by where as soon as you come in to the garage, you're gonna see it on top of my toolbox. You know my orange toolbox that I use? Yeah. There. Okay, now this beat needs to cure. But, wow, this is beautiful. I'm gonna bring you guys around so you can see it. The sun shining. It looks just like the car. Four to six weeks later. It's been 763 days since I started this project. And I did not. Where are you going? I didn't tell you you could leave. No. I knew that truck would come in handy. I need to finish the project today so that you are able to see it this very weekend. Enough is enough. Um, that's why my channel is called This Weekend's... I should take the apostrophe away so that it's plural for many weekends, you know? Um, yeah, it's this has been on the back burner its entire time. From when I bought it, it sat on the back burner. Uh, not in the trailer, just the back burner. Um, then about a month later, I finally filmed the first section of this episode which is where you see me you know cutting it and getting ready then it wasn't until a week later that I did the painting and I finished the, the body I mean the chassis uh, and now we have today which is two weeks after that so yeah again it's taken me almost 800 days to you know finish this up what I'm trying to say is, there's other things that take precedence. So let's go ahead and finish this up today. Because I want you guys to see what's going on. I, I really want you guys to enjoy what I've done. And I realized I put the chrome paint over the sticker. Which is about as stupid as stupid guts which means I'll have to re-chrome that before before I glue it on we all make mistakes you know I grew hair that's how long it's been did I bring the chrome yeah I did yeah I've got like three of these and I want to make sure that I do have them with me so I bought a certain glue and the glue claims not to have any white residue on it it does so what I'm gonna do is the next best thing and I'm gonna go with hot glue so literally what I have left to do today is I have to glue hot glue these headlamps on the inside the body and I've got a hot glue the rear bumper but not before I go ahead and do the decal thing so that's the bumper 
That's right, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this as well. I'm not gonna put that big rear deck lid. I don't think there's anything else I need from this bag. I want to ruin the chrome on that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's already ruined. Oh. I don't think it'll be visible from... It goes underneath the paint. So this... Essentially... that glue's there. Okay. I mean, it's not difficult. I want to finish correcting the body. And let me tell you, it's been so long that I am finishing this project just in time that this is no longer, well not this, but my real size car is no longer my daily driver. <laughs> it's not my wife's. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. So in essence, I made a miniature of my wife's daily driver. And it's very important to her. It really is. She, she wants to make sure she has a miniature version of what she drives. Nope, she doesn't care. We're almost there. bumper has got me puzzled to be honest with you well I guess yeah makes sense why not make it a part of the body it just that makes, that's what makes no sense to me. all right I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start with the hot glue actually no I'm gonna start with the tail lamp So I'm gonna go with the hot glue on this piece, see how it goes. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna use this part. This part's just gonna be sitting in my office. Oh, my wife's office. I'd like to see that. I'm not going to overdo it with the glue. Or I've got plenty of hot glue sticks. I'm probably ruining those again.
jump. Jeez Louise. Tail lamp is done. Be honest with you, can't lie. I'm using hot glue to create a three-dimensional projector headlamp. I just discovered the lack of paint. Anybody want to place their bets right now? Whether or not I will end up with black paint all over my hands? Okay, much better. I'm impressed, I like it. I'm gonna do the windows as well, but not before doing the rear bumper. Now, once I hot glue it, I am going to paint it black. That way it matches the car. Obviously, I don't want it clear. But I'm not going to remove decal, that clear sticker that it has, because I need it to have that matte finish. Because the original car, the bottom of the bumper, is matte black.
after these messages, we'll be right back. Can you believe the bullshit Chevy's putting in their spots lately? <laughs> Fucking A. I guess it goes to show you what years of frustration will do. Because for the last 12 years, Ford has built the best-selling truck in America, Ford F-150. Ford also builds the best-selling compact pickup, Ford Ranger. So if you want fucking stunts, see a fucking movie. But if it's America's number one trucks you want, it's on Chevy. Go see your Ford dealer now. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the uh, commercial. So these decals I am going to save. Alright, so I brought you down a little lower so you guys can see it from a really good angle. But we're done. Looks really nice. This is literally how it's going to sit in my office. You know, that's it. It's, gonna, it's just for looks. Perfect. Now let's find a reason to get my hands full of paint again. We've all been there, where like I should have left it the way it was. I can't tell you how many times I think that. But again, I'm too far in it. <laughs> Kindergarten work. <laughs> oh my God, I just, yeah. Everything that's chrome on my car, my wife's car. There's now chrome on this. Oh. Should have left it all black. Too late for that. Good looking. We're done. Look at that beauty. Wow. Look at the chrome on that. Look at the attention to the turd. Listen, in all fairness, I do like how the tail lamps and headlamps are three-dimensional.
not that bad if you close your eyes and imagine the real car. Tell you what. Here. Look at that. Now that's beautiful. Okay, so please pay no mind to the dirty car. The one last thing I forgot to do is these keys have emblems on them. Yeah. These keys have emblems on them. And I've had a few of these that are just sitting in junkyards. And, you know, they give them to me. I borrow them. And I borrow them because they've got very nice emblems. And this is going to be perfect. So what I'm going to do to make it a little easier on me, I'm going to apply the hot glue on the car and then just adhere the emblem. That's it. That simple. Yeah, I know it's huge. I hope you guys enjoyed this project at least. Not so much to make the same mistakes I did, but to laugh at me and the end result. Listen. It is what it is, okay? Now, that being said, the real reason you wanted to stick around to the end of the video this guy right here. I've been searching for a 71, 72 Chevy Chevelle. Eh. And they're hard to come by. I was able to get this one a few weeks back, but it's the converts, you know, less roofy, not included. I bought it anyway, because it damn well looks good. Well, that decal even though it's convertible it looks good um, CVS has them at least down here in Florida I'm not sure anywhere up north how that works uh, has nice details you know uh, and I was gonna do the project that we're all you know talking about here but I wasn't convinced Kept on searching and finally came across this beauty. It is a hard top the way it should be. It's got a functional because that is important. I'm gonna be going full detail in here as well. I got these seats for it. You know, one red, one blue. You guys know where I'm going. This will be completely disassembled. This hood is going to be gone. Because I am going to do a detailed, detailed replica of Derek's Bicycle Garage Independence. I'm a big fan of Bicycle Garage. Okay. This is something I've been wanting to do. November 2022, I went to the Freedom Factory. I was able to meet Derek and amazing guy. Awesome. And I saw this car. Well, not this Thanks, Derek. This one. In person. And I, I, it's my dream car. It is my dream car. This is my dream car. Rust bucket, like he says. Check. Doesn't matter. It's not about that. 
the car has personality it has history and it's and, and Derek brought it back to life okay so what I'm gonna do I am going to mimic Derek's Chevelle on its last event the last race this is the way everybody saw it at the very end so stay tuned because we got good stuff coming your way I don't think it's gonna be a weekend for a weekend for next project yeah that's gonna work it's not gonna be a project for next weekend this is gonna be extremely detailed I want to get it right I want to get it correctly done there's a lot of detail that's gonna go into this I'm gonna see how I don't want to ruin that dash either that dash looks really nice um, but everything from the hole where the keys should go rust um, I don't know how far into the body I want to get I got to make that decision where whether I'm gonna actually cut into the body or I'm just gonna stain it to mimic rust because this is a nice looking car okay um, but yeah it's gonna be a fun one so stick around as always you don't want to do this to my hands it's because the end of the video is coming thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I come out with the next video I love you guys I wouldn't be doing this without you thank you for watching